Yo, what is going on, everyone in crypto space? Thank you guys for tuning in the channel today. Really do appreciate it. I do apologize for not having a stream this morning. I was up very, very late last night working on a new feature uh, for my website that I was going to think was pretty cool. So I was up till like, you know, two, three in the morning. And man, when, it, when I woke up at like nine o'clock, I could not stay awake. I was just way too, way too exhausted from last night. So I do apologize for not having a stream. Streams will continue as usual. But I did want to come out with a video today uh, about a topic that I see spreading quite rapidly uh, in the XRP community. And this is the whole talk about the XRP private ledger. Now, here's what I'm going to say. Banks uh, do care about transaction uh, uh, privacy. Uh, I, I believe I saw from uh, some sort of institution or someone from Ripple saying that I believe it was I believe it was David Schwartz who actually stated that uh, banks do actually care about the privacy of their transactions, not necessarily have them uh, completely into the into the public eye, knowing whose funds is going where, essentially. But um, the, the thing is, is that there's this speculation now that there's some private ledger that you know institutions are testing on the private ledger. So oh, and then they, when they bring it to you know the the public ledger, it's gonna you know go up because they're transferring all that volume to the to the public ledger. It's really I don't know. It, it's kind of like I feel like what's going on here is that since everyone expected a bull run uh, at the end at the end of the year of 2018, it's like now people are kind of looking for a reason to cling on to for why ha why we haven't mooned yet, and people are always looking for that explanation of why isn't the price going up like crazy. So this is sort of the new thing where it's you know oh hey there's institutions are pumping a lot of money on the private ledger, and then like when they're ready to go, they're going to move it to the public ledger, and XRP is going to go up like crazy. But here's really the case: if there was a private ledger. There's really no reason to talk about it because we would never know. If there is, you know, theoretically speaking, if there is some sort of private ledger in existence, we still wouldn't know at the end of the day because it's private. They're not going to let anyone know about it. So at the end of the day, we really don't even know if it exists or not. But what does exist is something called the altnet or the testnet, and it functions it, it, in terms of code. It functions in the exact same way uh, as the real XRP ledger. But here's the thing, guys. Even if a private ledger does exist... XRP is still XRP being used. There is no private XRP or some sort of other version of XRP for transfer. XRP is still XRP. So if we just, if we consider it fact that there is a private ledger, let's say theoretically it is true. Even though I'm, I got my doubts about it. But uh, let's say theoretically if it is true, if there is some sort of, you know, private ledger where they're pumping massive volume, there's still XRP going through that ledger. So at the end of the day, XRP is still XRP being used. And again, guys, with, with the private ledger, I mean, honestly, it's nothing really to be concerned about. It, it, it was no one official from an official statement or a significant person uh, working with Ripple. No one has ever like officially stated from Ripple that there is such thing as a private ledger. There is the XRP ledger and the testnet. That's all that is to public now. Now let's say theoretically some bank like work with Ripple to make their own ledger for transactions. I mean, we would never know because again, it's a private ledger, but at the end of the day, XRP is still XRP. No matter where it's used, it's still going to be used. I mean, it's one XRP is one XRP. There is no like other sort of XRP they can use privately to like hide volume. It's XRP is still XRP being used. So really all this private ledger stuff is, it's just a theory that came out by some people in the crypto community and it's spreading like wildfire. I mean, because again, I really think the reason why this is being spread so much is because people are... I don't want to say desperate, but like, you know, kind of desperate to cling on to some sort of theory or piece of information that, you know, explains the whole, why haven't we mooned yet? And I feel like that's going to continue to happen until we actually do moon because people are always wondering why with all this good news, aren't we going up yet? But honestly, it's like X rapid is only live in two quarters, guys. Uh, it's not pushing much volume. I mean, it is starting to get more moderate now. We just did have a $4,500 transaction come through XRP on the public ledger, by the way, not, not a private ledger on the public ledger. So or no, the ledger, <laughs> there's no, pro uh, the public ledger, um, but uh, really, it's like X Rapid right now, guys, it's, there are a lot of clients who have signed on to want to use it, but it's really, it's not significant volume coming through right now because of, you know, regulatory uncertainty and kind of certain limits to liquidity in, in, ver in various corridors. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have big deployment yet. Like really, we're not seeing significant volume coming from X Rapid yet. So guys, really the time when it's going to start going up is when there is significant volume uh, going through it. And we even heard from someone from Ripple recently, I can't name exactly who it was, I, f I forget, but they were saying that, um, as we go on with X Rapid uh, and, and we continue to, you know, kind of scale up in the corridor, we're going to continue to add in more zeros and zeros to the transactions. They got to kind of start out small and then kind of work their way up with the liquidity and the current partnerships, you know, and, um, 
and the regulatory certainty in, in those certain, you know, the regulatory framework in those certain nations. So really, guys, when we're going to see XRP go up is when we have like, you know, majority of the volume essentially, um, on the XRP ledger being like actual real utility from businesses and like having all that real volume come in, that's when it's going to go up. You know, we're, we have really moderate use right now. It's really not at full scale at full potential. It's really just starting out. And guys, remember X rapid has only been live for about three months. It hasn't been live very long. So we got to give it some time, you know, it's moderate use right now, but eventually it's going to scale up in the future. They even their words, not mine. They're going to keep adding more and more zeros as time goes on to, you know, scale up to its real, real full potential here. But yeah, that's why we're not really seeing it go up is because yeah, we have the, the information that it's being used, but the volume really isn't representing that because it's, it, it's at a much smaller scale. So again, this whole private ledger thing, I feel like it really did evolve from people kind of trying to cling on to some sort of piece of information or theory to, you know, explain the whole why we haven't mooned yet thing. But really guys, there's the XRP ledger and there's the test net. That's all that's publicly known. Even if there was a private ledger, we would never know about it because again, it's private. But I do understand why some people, you know, think this might be true because banks do care about the privacy of transactions. But I mean, at the same time, uh, all that's fact right now is that there is the XRP ledger and then there is a test net for testing code. And guys, even if there theoretically was some sort of private ledger, it's still XRP being used. There is no other version of XRP. XRP is still XRP being used. So thank you guys for watching this video today. Hopefully I kind of cleared up uh, the whole private ledger discussion. That's the basis of it. It didn't come from, you know, anyone official from Ripple. It's just a theory kind of that got spooled up by the community, but it's really all that is just a theory. There is no information at all that's credible that explains specifically that there is a private ledger uh, for XRP. And also David Schwartz also does say the XRP ledger currently has no specific privacy features except arguably payment channels. So yeah, that's what they can do. They can actually set up their own payment channel, you know, scale up to 50k TPS, but it's like transactions may effectively be somewhat less private because of these disincentives. Um, uh, to reusing account. If privacy is important uh, to use uh, to your use case, other systems may be better choices. So again, guys, they, David Schwartz even says it right here. The XRP ledger has no pr specific privacy features. There is no private ledger to our knowledge. So hopefully I kind of cleared that up for you guys. As always, make sure you do drop a like, subscribe, check links in the description. Uh, if you do want to support the channel, get yourself a ledger and ask, keep that cryptocurrency nice, safe, and offline. And make sure you do hit those post notifications so you never miss a video or stream. And make sure, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know, did I clear this up for you guys? Because really, uh, just in a nutshell, it's just a theory that kind of arose. It's nothing really any piece of inf official information. And it's honestly, for the most part, the real reason why I'm making this video, it's nothing to worry about. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next one.